Hello all and welcome back to another Model Railway video. Now today's video is quite an interesting one. Lately I have been doing some experiments on my Model Railway testing big loads in behind different engines. I've been trying to do it in behind a few smaller locomotives as well. Now the engine that's in front of you is one of Hornby's B2 packets. This is the NCB packet number 1426. Now this locomotive has blown me away by how much it can haul and how consistent it is when it runs. It's not slipping, I haven't seen it slip at all actually when it's run. And it has been towing a train of 36 wagons around my layout without a problem. Now I've had bigger locomotives which have actually spun their wheels when hauling that big load. So for a little picket to do it, it is quite impressive. So I'm going to start it up. And you'll get an idea of how good this is running when you see how many wagons are in behind it. And that was a pretty smooth start, no slipping there. And I'll do some different shots of it going around. The 36 wagon train, well, 35 in a guards van. Poor class 5 and the yard's looking a bit redundant at this point. It's been thrashed by an 060 picket. Absolutely hilarious. Now this is to prove that this is actually happening and I'm not faking it. Look at that. It's almost taken out the entire layer. And it's just this little tiny 060 B2 packet. I've said it once and I'll say it again. These are absolutely fantastic locomotives. In fact, I've probably said it more than once. But this is just proving it again and again that these are so good. Look what it's towing. In real life, there is no way that that little thing could tow all of that. But yet, it's doing it so well. My layout's relatively level. There's a bit of a slope going up there where the board's gone a bit warped. Just from the heat over the years. But it hasn't gotten any worse because I've put quite strong bracing underneath the layout. But it's just incredible. And that's why I wanted to do a quick video on this because I've never seen a tank engine tow that much on any of my layouts. I thought it was quite impressive. Excellent little loco. So there we go folks. What an incredible performer. 
the Hornby B2 yet again has surprised me in a way I didn't think it was going to. I didn't think that this loco could haul this, but I thought, what the heck, put it on, see if it can do it, and it is just, it's proven me wrong. It, it, it can do it with ease. The speed isn't really varying at all. I haven't really seen any wheel slip at all. It is just thundering along there with the load. 35 open wagons chosen at random along with a guards van. The, these have not been chosen, these wagons, because they're the lysis. They've just been picked at random and have been put on in a random order. I've tried to keep the same wagons with the same type of wagons. Like you can see the, the lower plank wagons are there at the back. But I haven't chosen these because of the, they're the lightest, so it's doing very well. Because some of these backman wagons, they've actually got quite a bit of weight in them. So it's doing very, very well. So yeah, it was a bit of a spur of the moment video. This one I was getting ready to plan another video out, but I, I saw this loco doing what it's doing now, and I thought, nah, got to do a video of this. It's because you... You don't get many tank engines of its size that can do this job. So folks, if you're after a small tank engine that will tow quite a bit of load, the Hornby B2 is indeed for you. I hope you've enjoyed this small video folks. Have a great rest of your day. Bye for now.